Good morning, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly reading. As always, even through this is for, or even through this is being posted in October. This is timeless. It's going to show you what will happen from the day you see this and a month ahead. There's always a reason for when we see readings, when we receive our monthly reading. It is the monthly energy and something important is happening for you. First of all, I keep wanting to say Pisces to you. So there might be something with a Pisces or you have Pisces in the chart. Something has been activated. Other things that was popping up for you. First of all, there is a lot of changes in different things. More than one aspect in your life is changing. But the spotlight is on two things. First of all, I feel there is changes in where you are living. Something is changing. Your living circumstances. If you are moving or if you are renovating or if there is something with the dynamic of who is living with you. But something is changing and especially going to come into full focus with the solar eclipse new moon in Scorpio. I just posted a reading, reading about it. But that is the first thing. The second thing for you is that there is a lot of changes when it comes to friendships or when it comes to other people that you associate with. It could obviously be co-workers, but I feel that it has something to do with friends. And with the solar eclipse. It can go either way. It can be people who are coming back from the past, or it can be people disappearing from your life who has been with you for a long time. So with that, new people are coming into your life. And I will also say for you that... I feel there is someone that is going to help you or that is going to be able to help you with achieving one of your biggest goals. Not that you cannot achieve it alone, but there is someone who is really going to help you to kickstart something very important for you. So pay attention to people who give you input, people who want to help you, people who support you. There might even be someone who can help you, but they also trigger you for some reason. So there is like a confusing energy about this person, if that is something that resonates with you. Yeah. Hmm. What else? I think that is the channeled messages. Just pay attention to anything with friendships, contacts, Organizations, there could also be something with organizations, obviously. But we're going to take an energy card and then we're going to take tarot. A new thing I'm doing is to put the camera down. <laughs> put the camera down. Well, let me explain this in a better way. I'm showing the cards in the table so you guys can get a better understanding of it as well. But there is one deck that I wanted to use, but for some reason I can't find it. It just has uplift and disappeared. Maybe you know someone who has done that in your life. Not to be found. So instead we are using the enchanced, enchanced map. So, Cancer. I wonder if some of you guys like living with a roommate. Or with people and you're being separated from them because you're moving to another place if that is why or you're living living you're moving to another country or another city like something but it's like a massive jump it feels like a massive jump like the scenery or the the circumstances of your home is completely changing in a way but it's for the better always remember that with the solar eclipse this is faith destiny that was a quick jumper. Listening. Listening, listening, listening. The elephant is a very aware creature, right? 
they are aware of everything and i believe that they also have a very good hearing right that they feel the energies um underneath their feet i do see this like little bird sitting on it plus the note so that might be something with singing maybe even for you listening 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 to your inner feeling that's what comes to mind first of all but we are going to take the book and see when this card appears you are being reminded that there is a time to speak and a time to be silent now is an occasion for listening pay attention not only to what is being spoken but also to what is not being said at the moment huh for the deeper message is not always obvious listen with your heart not just your ears and you will find clarity receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and assures a greater understanding of your circumstances ha huh. i wonder if some of you guys are sick and tired of who you're living with or your neighborhood or something like there is disagreements and it's just the energy is not good obviously with this this could be in an organization this could be around something with a club it could be a friend group it can be co-workers obviously it really can be whatever right listen to what's not being said Mm -hmm. Someone agrees out there, definitely. So we're using the Light Sears Tarot. And then let's see what else we can find. So I am going to switch when the cards are laid down. But first of all, let's just... Let us see. On the back... The devil reversed. Definitely letting go of something. Letting go of someone was controlling something that was controlling that could be something with addictions disagreements could be something with a Virgo, Virgo well that's not what I want to say but maybe but it could also be something with um, Capricorn I also heard, heard Taurus that's really something about Earth wow hmm ungrounding I heard childish I wonder if some of you guys are dealing with someone who is that. <sighs> Not being heard. Ace of Swords reversed. You're definitely... What just happened there? <laughs> it just doesn't... Like normally I have this like a uh, square. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Wow. What just happened? What happened with you? Wow. I had this like again not being heard and someone not seeing your idea, someone not understanding what it is that you want to create and not understanding your mind, your being. Wow, very interesting. Something might just have happened or maybe received a message or something. Yeah, definitely. Someone might really not really, <laughs> really not really understand you or really like like i almost want to say like they don't get me they do not get me and it takes away your confidence it takes away your courage because we also have the strength card reversed some of you guys are ending something for good like this is not working for me anymore i need space i need a new beginning if it's not about wow <laughs> if it's not about a new beginning um <laughs> if it's not about a person it's just your circumstances because look at this suddenly you're like i don't want that but i want that something is draining you or someone is draining you is there a last card that you want to show them Knight of Swords. Wow. Ready. That's one thing I heard. You're just ready. Yeah. You'll be guided heavily. 
It really wants to focus on the pumpkin. <laughs> you are heavily being guided here. Oh, wow. Okay. Should we put the camera down so that you guys can be a part of the reading? I think that fits way better. You're definitely moving away from competition. You're moving away from arguments, disagreements. But I can't stop thinking about this energy of someone didn't believe you. It could just be society or a group of people, organization, something. There was no really give and take. Like almost to the point where I feel like you presented something, a show. Yeah, like you presented something and people didn't get it or someone didn't get it. And it almost made you give up on it. And if you're still in that mindset of giving up on it, please don't. What is also interesting here is the staircase because that is something that came up in the solar eclipse new moon reading. Share your visions with the world, with other people. Share what's in your mind. Don't hide it. I am going to be sure that I am recording because, because some weeks ago I had troubles with that, but I think that we are still on perfect. Don't overthink. And again, don't compare yourself, your work, you with other people. Because you are magical just the way that you are. Whatever it is that you're creating, speaking, writing, it's perfect. Because obviously, Ace of Swords could be something with writing. And if there is someone who closed off their heart to you, I feel like you have already made a decision to let them go. Well, we can almost see the devil, but again, we know the devil is here and we know that it's, you know, it's a, it's a cut. It's like a no. No more overthinking, no more, no more of other people stepping in and taking over. Because you are the driver. There is massive, big changes coming. New beginnings. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I love this for you. Like the universe is handing you a new beginning, a new opportunity. So listen, it's this beautiful moment where everything is just coming together. I'm trying to see what tarot we're going to use. Okay, let's take the John Bauer tarot and let's just see what else we can get. Let's see what else. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that is not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> Let's just take you guys away. Interesting, interesting. Well, this card actually just jumped out. So we're going to keep that. Something might not be as it seems. I wonder if there's someone who's trying to blind you. It is, by the way, the moon. So something might not be exactly as it seems. Hmm. That is so interesting because we actually have here the Ace of Wands, but it is reversed. Then we have the Lovers reversed. So that might be something with a person. We have Leo. We have Gemini. Obviously, it can be whoever, whatever. And then we have the Hank Man. Um, obviously, it could be that you're not making a decision about something. But one thing I do want to point out with this is there might be something that's coming into your life that's not what you expected. But like the hanged man, the hanged person in this card, sometimes we need to look up, right? And then suddenly we realize something we didn't realize before. Realizing why you didn't make a decision or realizing why someone might not have, be, have turned out to be what they are. No matter if it's a group, a person, could also be a home, right? It can be whatever, work. Like you didn't really expect that it would be like it is. You didn't expect yourself to fall in love with something else. 
I feel there is a connection that you are not expecting that will happen. Your situation does need a change, and I do feel that's also why you have the Knight of Swords, because it is coming in. Like, you are taking this, like, very mysterious step, in a way. Like, it's uh, almost to the point where it's like, oh my god, I'm doing this. Oh my god, I don't know if, if am I allowed to do this? It feels... <laughs> It feels a little, not dangerous, but it feels a little like, do I dare to take this step and you're doing it? Like it's a leap of faith, a leap of faith. And that is exactly what you need. Leaving behind what was not for you. Suddenly realizing, hey, what is this? Who is this? I didn't expect her or him, you know, whatever. I want to look closer. I want to get to know you. Again, it doesn't have to be law for everyone, but there is a, a change. Change is necessary in your life right now and you're feeling it. You're getting it. Absolutely. You're getting it. And I also feel that it's going to be it for you. I hope you could use this. Let me know in a comment. And if you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. And I will see you guys in my daily readings on next month. Bye.